students welcome to my online class today we would be learning about different methods of purchasing i am chef aditya saxena from chitkara school of hospitality so on the this topic we will be covering different methods of buying it could be purchase orders purchase cards purchase specification and a content of purchase specification document Now the first method that a company generally use or an or an organization generally used to buy or purchase is petty cash. For small expensive expenditures such as stamps, office supplies, and other minor purchases, it it has been used by petty cash. Those things are purchased by petty cash. Now petty cash purchases are typically small enough. do not warrant a check or a special special requisition keep a specified amount of money in the petty cash fund and record the amounts coming in and out for audit purpose or it is a simple thing depending upon the size of the company the petty cash is been uh, you know the fund for petty cash has been uh, displaced all the office stationery put by the pen pencil rubber scales uh paper paper clips pens these kind of small you know uh, things can be purchased by petty cash now the only thing is that requirement is the petty cash the cash inflow and outflow is meant to be recorded in a register for audit purpose so that in the end of the month or at the end of the uh, of a quarter or the audit cycle when the auditor will came to audit he would know how much petty cash you had and how much you spent and you can prove it or you can justify all those things so petty cash is generally uh, you can say uh, used for day to day uh, purchases day to day small purchases the second is purchase order your business will want to use purchase orders for large procurements or regular deliveries these requisition form act as a formal agreement between you and your supplier regarding the price and terms agreed upon for your purchase now purchase orders generally you know uh, they are generated when you are procure, procuring large amount of products your purchases of larger amount or you are getting regular deliveries from your supplier in case of vegetables or perishables or uh, non perishable items beverages you generally have a purchase order those purchase orders are shown to uh, you know the purchase department and the, they receive the product so purchase orders are generally you know used for the things or the products which are you know uh, which are been purchased in a bulk quantity or in a larger quantity the third is your p card purchase cards or p cards work well for medium size purchases that you need to track but that doesn't necessitate a purchase order requisition similar to a consumer credit card p card allows you to take advantage of existing credit infrastructure to conduct purchasing transactions electronically now if we uh, you know uh, see for human beings just Uh, for me if i had to purchase something i i can show i can swipe my credit card and you know purchase all those things but for a company how would uh, a company purchase a particular thing for credit it's not a human entity now for that the what banks have done they have uh, you know uh, had a separate card which are known as purchase cards they are also known as p cards they are also known as corporate cards Now those cards are issued on the name of a company, and whenever anything will be purchased from those cards, they that will be purchased on the name of the company. So it is a sort of credit card for the company. So P cards will allow you to purchase things which doesn't which can't be buy through petty cash, and they are not even big enough for you know. Uh, generate a requisition form. Supposedly, you know, uh, 
you are a owner of a restaurant you were surfing online and you found some really good air tight containers over there which are cheap you can't have a you know uh, purchase them through petty cash or you can um, order it through a bigger acquisition form so what you would be doing you would be swiping or you'll be entering the detail of your p card and you'll purchase those things on the name of your company so indirectly the company is making a transaction the company is the entity which is purchasing those things so th this is how p card is being used by the company this on the other hand is a purchase specification document now purchase specification document generally has all these things now for this one they had this now the, this purchase specification document is for sirloin steak sandwich or sirloin steak what all things it has the name of the dish which is sirloin steak ingredient is sirloin steak country of origin that is UK weight should be 170 gram plus minus 10 grams how should be retrieved it should be minimum 8 mm of fat is required packet that should be individually vacuum packed specific requirements it should be 21 days of aged minimum Delivery temperature is there, which should be below 5 degree. Minimum order should be 10. Maximum order should be 30. So this is how a purchase specification document look like. Now you would be thinking what is a purchase specification. Now in this, le uh, let me take the example of sirloin steak. You are buying sirloin steak. You will tell the vendor what all things you are looking in sirloin steak supposedly the ingredient should be sirloin steak there should be a country of origin that should be UK or whatever the country that you require that the steak should come from that particular country the weight should be 170 grams plus minus 10 grams there should be at least 8 mm of fat on the uh, sirloin steak it should be individually packed vacuum packed now the special uh, you know requirement is that the meat should be 21 days aged and it should be delivered below 5 degrees celsius which is safe zone for us transportation of the meat and then we would be placing a minimum order of 10 or a maximum order of 30 not less than 10 and not more than 30 these are general specification that is been told to the vendor and the vendor will clearly do the same he would be knowing that if he had if they uh, organization or a restaurant is buying a steak what all things he had to remember he would he will just scroll down to the specification okay this is what they want the way it should be this, this much now and it should be temperature should be below 5 degrees Celsius okay I will it would be easy for him and it would be easy for you now next is these are the general contents of a purchase specification document we know what the document was there apart from that what all things can be in this purchase specification document is the nutritional value the nutrition value should be specified okay i want this and this thing whatever uh, you would be providing me it should have vitamin b vitamin b12 and uh, all the nutrients or particular product should be there inside then declaration of allergens now the product should be to declare that uh, though people with particular allergy are not going to eat this suppose something someone is lactic allergic so it contain milk and it is not good for lactic allergic people what are the microbiological limits in it what is the chemical properties of the uh, food product when it is being dispatched what are the dispatch and storage methods how the food should be dispatched to from vendor to the uh, supply buyer and how buyer had to store the food product for getting a maximum shelf life period what are the labeling what are the things that has been written on the label what are the certificates that they have got then quality management methods how for quality management methods we all should consider uh, the quality management of coca-cola it is always written serve best when chilled when the coke is chilled 
it will taste best. So they have a quality management method. Then the manuals. The manuals would be for the user manual for the electronic equipment that is being purchased. So how the manual, the manual uh, should be there or shouldn't be there. How we we using it. Each and everything are generally specified in a specification document. That we need a manual or we don't need a manual is also also be mentioned. So this is uh, what you know purchase and storage uh, purchase. Is being done. This is how the purchase are done in a company, right from petty cash till uh, your P cards. Then you have got the procurement uh, document with doc, uh, doc, those documents that have been made for bulk orders. I hope you enjoyed the class. Please stay safe. That's it for the day. Thank you very much.